Hey YouTube, it is Amy. I'm coming to you with an update. Um, I'm going to share with you guys some stuff that I am using to help me with my tummy problems and define a little more what's going on with me. Um, I told you guys that I had IBS and that is an umbrella term um, for a diagnosis given after all of the tests have been done to determine that there is no infection or cancer or underlying disease. Um, it's given when um, the function of the stomach is not working correctly but there is no disease and they can't tell why. Um, okay, I have these two things both fall under IBS. I have vertical or uh, vascular hypersensitivity, that's um, pain within the inner organs at a more intense level than normal. Um, and the way I understand that um, is that uh, the inside of your uh, intestines and stomach have uh, mast cells that fight off um, infection. And sometimes they think an infection is there when there's uh, overgrowth of bacteria um, or um, sometimes there isn't an infection there. Um, I do believe I did have an overgrowth of bacteria in my, uh, in my um, endoscopy. They did see evidence of that and they treated me for it, but I was still sick um, after that. But at that point, after I had the antibiotics, I stopped losing weight, and um, so, and then some of the nausea went away. So, because of that, um, these mast cells inflame to fight off infection, and they inflame near the nerves, and can cause some nerve damage and cause that hypersensitivity. Um, so you feel pain that you shouldn't be feeling, um, basically. And, um, and then I also have uh, mortil or mortality uh, dysfunction, which is um, the, speed of, the speed of contracting of the muscles of the intestinal system, um, the muscles and, and the nerves. I guess, you know, your stomach would normally go like this, and I guess mine sometimes just squeezes or flutters or just squeezes in one place and not in the other. Um, so I have that going on. With the vascular hypersensitivity um, and IBS, the FODMAP diet that I was doing, which is the fermentable sugars and fibers, um, taking those out of the diet uh, seems to be uh, the diet tool that is working best for me. Even with that, I still am having issues, so I am going to be seeing a nutritionist um, on the 31st to help me uh, with my diet. Um, I started to create a list of foods Let's see if I can find it. I call it my no-no foods. Um, uh, I have isopure and muscle milk down here, but um, any whey protein shakes instantly cause me symptoms. Instantly, I get spasms and pain um, with drinking any whey protein, isolate or regular. Uh, chocolate bananas, apples, um, pretty much any fruit. I cannot have fructose. Uh, Quest bars are a major no-no. Uh, there's an enormous amount of fiber in there um, and there's sugar alcohols. So those two things are bad for a normal digestion, digestive system, but they also have whey protein, so I can't have those. These are all things that I've had and have made me extremely sick. Um, Ultibars, uh, Nectar, double stuff, protein, 
any wheat product, uh, broccoli, green beans, asparagus, um, Brussels sprouts, pretty much any high fiber vegetable I cannot have. Uh, coffee, it's, it's really iffy. Um, my mom got me some lactose free um, regular sugar creamer. I can handle a little bit of regular sugar but not any sugar substitutes or any fructose. Um, I'm okay with a little cup in the morning, but I've actually, I really should take it out completely um, because coffee does make me bloat. Uh, chocolate. Yeah. So that's my list of things over the last week or so that I've tried that have made me really, really, really sick. Um, I've gone over my vitamins before. But I've added some a few things, and I'm actually on some prescriptions now. So I am going to show you some stuff that I am using. Um, because I can't do whey protein, and I still need protein powder every once in a while, um, this is what I'm using. Um, it's egg white protein. Um, you can get it on Amazon. That's where I get it. It's 75 calories. 16 grams of protein for a fourth of a cup scoop and really it doesn't have much flavor at all it doesn't have an aftertaste you can actually cook this like egg whites you can add a little water to it and put it in recipes um, I like to make um, protein pancakes with um, oatmeal ground up oatmeal and, and some of this and some uh, yogurt which I can't have now so I haven't made them since I've been sick but uh, there's lots of stuff you can do with this and you can make shakes out of it and it doesn't taste bad at all um, my brother who is a uh, professional bodybuilder and a trainer to trainers um, he's very high up in uh, works for um, 24 hour fitness, yeah. He told me because of my diet over the years of being um, low carb, high protein, not really eating a lot of um, alkaline foods in my diet, and running has made my body extremely acidic. And when your body is acidic, it can cause um, problems like. Uh, acid reflux and GERD and stomach issues so um, it's best to try to get your body back to pH um, pH level so I picked up this this test here um, it, there's a couple different ones you can get to test your pH and there's a there's a chart on the back of where you're supposed to be and um, I'm on the very, very acidic level right here, and I should be somewhere around here. So um, you can look up online what acidic, what, what uh, alkaline foods are if you are um, un unbalanced pH. Uh, but you can also add uh, alkaline drops, or these ones are trace mineral. Um, pH balancing trace minerals and you just put a couple drops in your water this actually tastes like sea salt kinda it's really not that good it's actually probably better to put it in juice if you can drink juice or in something else but if you put it in your water it makes your water taste a little salty um, but it just takes a couple drops a day and that can help but definitely adding in alkaline foods which are mostly green vegetables um, I'm not sure I have to look it up because most of them I can't eat right now on the FODMAP diet another thing that I picked up is um, digestion power this is basically oh let me grab one more thing 